So in my book, I talk about becoming a conscious co-creator. So how do you become a conscious co-creator, free yourself from identification, and contribute to creating a sane world? Because we live in an insane world, don't we? It's insane. Just look at the news. Um, you must basically witness your conduct by trying to remain in the now. Now, don't get me wrong. All of us, we focus in the past and the future, right? And that's how we have to plan things and so forth. But when, when you're not in the present, you're sucked into identification, right? So I say all these words, and I may walk out and I need to eat something, and something might offend me or bother me, I might get irritated, and I'm back in my small self again. So most people are identified pretty much all the time, which caused Gurdjieff to say, man is a machine. He is a machine, uh, for the most part, except when you become consciously aware of the now. And as he said, for the majority of mankind, his comment was, he may exist, but he is not. Because you're not creating um, transcendental reality when you're asleep, when you're, when you're identified. Um, and we all identify. So the key is, what do we do? Witness it when you find yourself identifying. Essential. So you witness it. So you may go along and you may realize, oh my God, I got caught up in something, in a bunch of thoughts, I was distracted, and I don't know where the time went. I felt so immediately you bring yourself, you know, back, back to the now, back to the present, so that you're fully awake and fully alive. But it has implications far beyond that, because as we're out there, you know, we're looking for answers, and we, again, we joined our um, ashrams or synagogues or churches or Sufis or whatever, because we're, we're so small, you know, we want to like, you know, well, I hope we have a soul, have, no, you, the universe flows through you, okay, you are eternal, every one of you are eternal, all right, and you've been lied to, I don't know if it's lied, because most religions are ignorant, they, they have some little particles of truth, but they believe that, well, you're going to try to save yourself and maybe go beyond. No, you are already an immortal soul. So you're a spiritual being living a physical existence for a purpose. And one issue is to discover your purpose. So the, I want to address the idea of, of now, present now. Because, again, the concept is, as we're taught, there's this huge past. Look how far the past goes way down there, you know? And there's this huge future. How many years are ahead of us? And here, this little tiny little wafer is the now, this instant, this instant. But that's not it. It's the now that is here. It is the past that is insignificant and the future. Because we are meta programming both the past. You know, say you can't change the past, but yes, you can change the past. You could change your past. You, what you simply do is you dimensionalize to another probability. So the past. As you grow and change, you remember that double slit experiment? You create a new back history, a new back history. So it is the now that is immense. In fact, now is all that really exists. The substance of the universe is consciousness. Matter does not exist. We create our reality. The power is in us.